Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to learn how we can install the CML. If you remember now what we have, we have the announcement from the Cisco. We can use the CML. Okay. We can use the CML free of cost up to five nodes. We can run up to five nodes. We can run. If you want to run more, we need to buy the license. We have the personal license for 20 nodes. We can buy that one, but let's see. Let's see if you want how we can do. This is a link you need to first register with this website and then you need to log in and you need to take you need to download this. OK, you need to download that one. What you need to download means you need to download OVA file. OK, OVA file you need to download and also ISO file. These two file you need to download. This is like a VM and this is all Cisco router and switch images present in this one. So just click here here download this one. Already this URL link I share in our telegram channel so you can look there and after downloading you can download that and if I see if you see this is the OVF file and this is the image which image means I will show you this is the images image file whatever the Cisco I, ISO is image file in this one you have the image this one so you need to download these two things one thing is this one Another thing is this one CML file. OK, so I already downloaded everything is ready with me. How you can install means just right click and go here. Click open and go here to the download and take this one and open this. Then it will ask you the path. You can browse where you want to install this one. Example, I want to install in the D drive in the virtual folder. I have created CML in that folder. I will what we can say I want to install in this folder before I install. So I'm deleting that one in your case. You can install anywhere. Just select the location where you want to install and click OK and what name you want to give. You can give example. I am giving CML and just click import. It will import that file here. OK, we need to wait for some time. It will import after importing. Do not start this one. We need to apply. We need to attach the image also ISO file. So it will import. It will take few minutes and this is imported. Don't start this one. Just click edit. By default, it is taken 8 GB RAM and processor should be 4. And if you want to reduce, you can reduce, but it is recommended to use the 8 GB RAM. So here I will keep 8 GB. If you don't have 8 GB, you can reduce also. If you have more, you can increase also. And this processor should be 4 and this one by default and here in the CD DVD you need to use the ISO image. So click here and don't forget to check this one connect at power on. This is very important. If you forget to connect this one Cisco router switch images will not come. So you need to click this then go here use ISO image browse this one and where you have that image folder select that one and open this. So this will attach here. After that go to the bridge here network adapter select always net then click OK. That's all. This is only the setting then power on this CML. It will install. We need to wait for some time and we need to set up the username and password. So just wait here. You will get the detail. It will show you like they are going to start doing the installation. You need to wait for some time. It is taking time and now I have good RAM and good hard disk. Everything is good. So it will do fast. But depend computer speed, computer RAM, how much RAM you have depending upon that one. It will load slow or fast depending upon your system. So we need to wait for some time. It will do everything and see here it came here. Just I will click here and press enter continue. I want to continue here. License agreement. Just press tab key and accept that one and press enter. After that click continue. OK, then again continue. You can see here continue. And this is the system unique host name. I am taking the default one, whatever they give. Just click OK. Here, default name they give. Sys admin is a default name. You need to set up the password. So give password, whatever you need. I am giving what I need. OK, same thing. Press down arrow and give same thing. OK, and then after that, press tab key and click continue. 
they will give you this password is not strong continue anyway you will just select yes continue anyway and now this is the login like you are accessing the eveng in the browser you are putting the login you remember admin eve like this here you need to set up some password so press down arrow and put here whatever you want to put i will put whatever password but remember this what you are putting because we are going to use this okay so username i keep admin only i did not change but the password i am putting whatever i need to log in this one after that press tab key and click continue same thing you will get this password is not strong continue anyway yes continue this anyway and use the default setting ip will be get from the dcp yes click continue this is a thing you can observe here here you need to observe carefully this controller name is sysadmin password whatever you said and the user we are going to use to log in to the browser to do the lab that is admin password what you said and here platform ios cd rom here you should have attach if you have attach means you properly browse that ios image and you select the power on that option there after that you will have this dcp is enabled then just click confirm okay press enter it will uh, give you this they are going they are giving here the images whatever you have in the iso file that is going to upload in the what we can say cml it will take so it will take approximately 10 minutes to complete that one we will say okay continue and then you need to wait for some time it will not take 10 minutes also depending upon your system speed if your system is having good ram processor and the hard disk it will do fast but approximately we need to wait for 10 minutes then after that they will give you the ip you need to type that ip in the browser see they are copying all that setting everything they are doing in the cml and we need to wait for some time after that what you will have here it will restart and then you will get the ip here so we need to wait for some time if you see here now done it is not taken the 10 minutes also if your system is old and having the low ram then it will take 10 minutes else else it will be very fast if you see the system is now configured your point you need to point your browser to the ip address showing on the console when this tool close so we need to wait for some time and then you will get the ip address here you need to type that ip in the browser that's all so we will wait for some time and we will get one ip here see this is the ip so this ip you need to type in the browser you can use ipv6 or ipv4 anyhow i will take the ip v4 only here 192.168.45. whatever they give here 45.142 okay which i have ip i am saying this one this ip i am saying this one okay you need to type that one in the browser and don't cancel this if you cancel it will close you can minimize or keep like this only only keep that ip here and press enter then you will have the cisco modeling lab here username is admin and whatever the password you give there whatever password i give i will put that password here that's all and you will go inside here and this is a brand new fresh copy you don't have any lab if you want to create click here add and they will guide you if you need the navigation click next it will show you like if you want to take the notes here and then he will show all the notes are here which one you want to select then again how you want to what you need to do all the thing you will have you can just click next 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 and you can learn here or if you don't want to learn just click exit and you will come here and then go here in this point and what you need you needs router or switch or what you need depending upon your requirement you can take like example i want to take uh, switch i need to take one uh, router i need to take one asf at all five device you can take at a time five device you can take here limitation means you can take lot of device but you can power on five device at a time only you can power on five device at a time only if you take more device and you power on all device same time only five device will work 
so i power on all this device if you want to take the console you can just go here click the console console will come here this is the and you want to change this is the switch you want to change the name of the switch the select this way go here whatever name you want to give give that name example sw1 and you want to change the name of this router click here it will selected you can change here r1 and click here if you want the asc firewall just uh, click here change the name here whatever name you want to give and click here okay and if you need the console of this one also right click and click console here click open console same thing do here also console open console so this is like a switch this is router whatever you have you have that one or if you want to get the new name again open the new console again so this one you can move this here wherever you want this is switch this is router this is asc you can open this console and you can click here and same thing what we do here enable config t change the name of the device host name sw1 create the vlan vlan 10 name for it create the vlan vlan 20 name hr whatever you want you can do okay same thing in the router also you can go here you can press here and you can change the name example enable config t host name r1 and here you can write show you can write here do show ip interface brief to check whatever interface you have here if you want to check the version you can write show version and you can see what is the version of this router if you want to make this up you can make and check here what is the version here this is a version 17.15 of the router if you want to check the switch version you can check here also show version and you can see here this is the version of the switch if you want to check here also you can check here you can uh, here they give cisco cisco here enable then enable password they give cisco abc what they give here you can put here they will give you detail also what is the device login detail when you go here you need to keep your mouse here you will get here what the detail you have like example if you go here you will see default credential is cisco cisco here it is writing written here so on the device you write you will get that anyhow just i want to show you how to install later slowly slowly you will learn how to configure everything so same as we do you have the here same thing okay and where is the router let me i i think i switch off the console of the router so this is the router so i hope you enjoy this video this is simple just you need to install and you don't know which is the link what is the link you can whatsapp us our team will guide you and you can look in our telegram channel okay i already shared the everything in our telegram channel so from there you can easily use okay i can highlight also here which one we are using we are using here ova file this one and this one images we are using that's all you need to download this i will share this in our telegram channel you can down, uh, download this and link is also already share you can look there okay thank you